Hello there. Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this specific training, we're going to be continuing our HubSpot integration training. Now, again, as a reminder, if you've not watched all of the other HubSpot video trainings, I highly recommend that you go back and watch those start to finish because we build on each of those. We're learning stuff in each of those videos that we then take advantage of later on. So for example, we've learned how to sync data from PhoneBurner over to HubSpot or from HubSpot over to PhoneBurner. Once the data gets into PhoneBurner, we've talked about how to manage that data. Is it gonna be managed as a team? Or are we gonna be syncing data over to individual users? And we've talked about folders, how to use folders to help us keep the data organized once it syncs over to PhoneBurner. We've also talked about shared dialing lists with our lead stream training. But now I want to talk to you about how you can take advantage of tools in HubSpot that will help you automate the movement of contacts into different folders in PhoneBurner or into different stages in HubSpot so that you can make sure that the two systems are dancing or playing nice together. And so we're going to be talking about workflows. Let's jump over to HubSpot. In HubSpot, we're going to go to Automation and down to Workflows. If you don't have sequences, then I think it just says Workflows up here at the top. But we're going to go to Workflows. Operations Hub. I hope everybody here has Operations Hub. I'm going to go ahead and close that. And we're going to create a new workflow. I'm going to do this from scratch. It's going to be a blank workflow. Obviously, you can do anything you want, but it needs to be based off the contact. Okay, so we're creating our first workflow. Hopefully you already know how to use workflows and you've gone through training at HubSpot and you're taking advantage of this feature. Now I'm not gonna dive deep into workflows. I'm certainly no HubSpot expert where I know everything about workflows. I'm gonna give you a taste of some of the things that you may wanna consider to make sure that you're getting the most out of the integration between PhoneBurner and HubSpot. I'm gonna create a few example workflows to help you kind of understand some of the possibilities. But again, I'm no workflow expert and there's probably a lot of things out there that you may know that I don't know, but I just want to help you understand a few things so that you can start taking advantage of how the two systems can work together. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create a new workflow to help us move the contact to a specific folder based off the lifecycle stage in HubSpot. So I'm going to change the name of this instead of it just being an unnamed workflow. All right, so I've given it a name and a description. In this specific example, and apparently I misspelled specific, so let's fix that. In this specific example, what I want to do is I want to make sure that anytime contacts are set to a specific life cycle stage, that they're going to be updated to the appropriate folder in PhoneBurner. So let's jump over and take a look at Sasha sample. And let's look at her life cycle stage. Now, obviously, you can create custom lifecycle stages in your account. I'm just going to use the basic default stuff for this example. Now, let's say anytime a contact is considered a lead in HubSpot, I want to make sure that that contact gets added to the calling campaign folder in PhoneBurner. That way, anytime I designate one of my contacts as a lead, they're going to go into my calling campaign and I can start calling through them, either me personally or my team through a lead stream or whatnot. So now let's jump back over to our workflow and save that. So now we need to set up our trigger. We already talked about what we want to trigger this, and that is our lifecycle stage. So we're going to set up trigger. That is a contact property. And that is our life cycle stage. And we're going to set this to lead. Obviously, you can choose multiple options here. But of course, in this specific example, I'm just doing lead. So if a contact is set to the lead status of the life cycle stage, that should trigger this workflow. And that's going to be the only criteria for this specific workflow. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, what do I want to do? I want to make sure that it's moved into my calling campaign folder. So let's add a step. 
And what is our action? What are we doing? We are going to update a contact property. So we're going to set a property value. And we're going to use that folder ID field that we created. Now remember, we created that custom phone burner field ID property when we were creating the integration, that first sync setup, right? And so what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to update that property to be the folder ID for this Colin campaign folder. So we're going to go to manage folders. And we're going to see a list of all of our folders and you'll see every folder has an ID. So we're going to grab that folder ID and we're going to go over to our workflow and put it in there and hit save. And so that's it. If a contact record is in sync with phone burner and the lifecycle stage is set to lead, we're going to set the phone burner folder ID to this folder ID which will then move the contact into that folder. So let's go ahead and review and publish. Now for enrollment, I'm going to say yes, enroll existing contacts who meet the trigger criteria as of now. Because I want to take any of those contacts that are already currently set as leads and get them moved into this folder. Now obviously I have 82 in there right now, but I want to show you how this works. So we're going to go into the contact manager and I'm actually going to move all of these out. Let's move them into another folder. Let's just send them to the contacts folder. So now our folder is empty. We have no records in the call in campaign folder. So I want to show you how this would work. So here we have six records that would meet this criteria if we were to turn this on right now. And let's take a look at those six. Give that a second to load. While we're waiting for that to load, let's talk about a few other options in here. Contact enrollment automatically when, yep, that's what we want. Re-enrollment. Contacts can't be enrolled in this workflow multiple times. This is something that I would typically change. Now, obviously you're gonna need to consider all of the factors in with your specific data. In many cases, I probably would recommend that you change this so that they can be re-enrolled. Specifically to this example, if a contact gets changed out of the lead lifecycle stage, but then gets moved back into that lead lifecycle stage, I want to have them go back into my calling campaign. So we start chasing them again, right? So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have re-enrollment turned on. I'm going to make sure that those are all selected and then I'm going to save that. Let's take a quick peek here. It looks like we've got, these are the six records uh, that should get moved in there automatically. Now remember, I moved them. I just manually moved them out of that folder just a moment ago. So I want to make sure that those contacts don't actually have that folder ID still set because there can be a lag in when you make a change in phone burner versus when that is updated in HubSpot. So let's go back to Sasha sample. Let's go down here where we can view all properties. And let's look for folder ID 656524844 All right. Let's find that folder ID. Okay, so she is currently in the not interested folder. And let's look at Sally sample. Open up another tab. We're going to go to properties. Is that the same property? I don't remember. Yep, that's not interested. Okay. Let's look at George sample. Open it up another tab. Obviously, you're not going to do this uh, every time. I just want to make sure that we're doing this with these because um, we're expecting these to move. So 656, it looks like they're all in the not interested folder. Is that right? could be right. Let's go to the not interested folder in phone burner, open up another tab. Oh, 
Oh yeah, all of my sample contacts are in the not interested folder. Okay, so those, and then we've got Maria Johnson. Let's see where Maria Johnson is. She's in the review calling campaign folder. Okay, so none of those six that currently qualify have a folder ID that matches the calling campaign folder ID. So that means once I turn this on, once I actually enable this, those six should have their folder IDs updated and we should see them moved into the calling campaign folder, which right now has zero contacts in it. So let's go ahead and activate this. I think we can I don't think we really need to worry about anything else here. Of course, those of you who are watching this video can tell me if there's stuff that I missed. That's fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. So now we've got that activated. It should be going through and updating the folder IDs for each of those six records. I don't know. I don't know how soon we would see that change, but let's do this. Let's go ahead and um, add this to our view so that we don't have to go in and edit all properties to see this. And let's go back. And now it's set to 2558. Is that the 2558? So we can see that our workflow has done its job. It has updated that folder ID on the HubSpot side, but have those contacts been moved into that folder in Phone Burner? Let's do a quick refresh. And there you go. You can see that those contacts, at least five of those contacts were moved in here. And I'm willing to bet that the other contact is in the review folder because Maria does not have a valid phone number. So anytime a contact gets added to a lead stream and they don't have a valid phone number, they get shuffled over into a review folder so that you can review them. Because obviously you or your team can't call them because they don't have a valid phone number. So anyway, just the five valid contacts were added to the call-in campaign folder. So now me or my team can start chasing these prospects. So anyway, that's it for this specific training where you learn how to move a contact into a specific folder in Foam Burner based off of the lifecycle stage in HubSpot. Thanks again and happy dialing.